Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Pretty fun little project I thought I'd share with you to make something like this. It looks like a, to me, it looks like a piece of plastic that's wrapped around something. You could put something else in the center, but it's got some gradient blur shadow like actually the way it is. I made this in half, so we're just going to make it in half and I'm going to uh, actually turn this one upside down because I, I like to draw like this. Whoop. Actually, I like to draw like that. So we'll just move this out of the way for a second. Now, I like drawing the center of the page, so we'll move it to the center of the page in a second. But I'm just going to kind of make a rectangle about the size of that box. And then I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And we can get rid of this box. Then what I'm going to do is take that box or the rectangle. And I'm going to convert it to a curve. That way, when I use my shape tool, I can add nodes, and I'm going to add a node like right there. I'm not going to add a node to both sides because I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make I'm going to make it equal. So I'm going to grab all those three nodes, right click, turn them into a curve, and now these nodes are I can move them around and make a curve, and we can go like this. And I'm kind of getting the outline. I want this line to be straight up and down, but I can move this handle. That might be a little bit of a peak. Matter of fact, I'm going to move this in a little bit. Now, if we control D and make a duplicate and we flip this guy, you see what I have here. I have an inside box that you can see how, how much I'm off just by doing what I did. So we're going to take, just to make him even, we're going to take the shape tool and just move that guy down to that side. Don't have to do this, but it might uh, benefit us later when we're trying to uh, smart fill this guy. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take these two nodes. I'm going to actually, I'm going to move it down because it doesn't matter because the other one's going to stop it. I do, oh, there's how you can see where we're down. So maybe it won't leak. Sometimes it'll leak. And voila, it leaks. We've got a leak somehow. Um, trying to figure out how to how to get rid of that leak maybe we could do this let's try this let's uh let's set our nudge factor on like see how big this thing is it's only less than eight inches let's make it eight inches and let's nudge this over eight inches and this over eight inches and then take both these and left click left click right click kind of a backward way to do this but it'll a lot of times you'll spend a lot of time figuring out where the leak is. So we're just going to make a new shape and just kind of learn different way to do that. So now we have our shape. We can get that out of the way. We can hit P and put it in the center of the page. It doesn't really matter anymore. We're going to go ahead and left click and right click. We're going to go ahead and bring this in so we can kind of see what to do. Now I'm going to take another line. I'm actually going to take a three point curve line. And I'm going to go from there to about there, and I'm just going to curve it. This is where your uh, artistic ability will help you in this case. Now, we want both these to be the same. So we're going to grab that. We're going to hit the plus key on the keyboard. We're going to mirror it sideways. We're going to take that node and have it snap to that node. Let's get this thing out of the way. And then just draw you a two-point line. You can actually go from there to there, and then you can actually take this out. So now if we create a color, and I kind of like that orange, and then take a black and go and fill this in, and then take away your outline. So we're going to select them both and right-click, no, no outline. Then to make this, I just did this kind of the other day on something else. Uh, Try to get it morally in the center. Left click, white. Right click, no outline. And you can do a lot. You could do a vignette like I did the other day, or you can go to effects and just blur this with Gussie and Blur. And you can play with this till the cows come home. Now, I would hit P and put it in the center of the page and then start moving and hold down the control button and look at it. Now, this is a little bit stronger than I probably would have liked, 
or you might want for your printing, but we can gussy and blur it back and then bring this back down a little bit the other way. And I'm just going to show you the other way in case you didn't watch that video. I'm going to, well, let's tell you what, let's do this. Let's duplicate this guy and see if we can see the difference. Now this one, I'm just going to make another rectangle white. Get it about that size. Fill it in with white. Left click. Now we're going to convert that to a bitmap. You have to do that. Doesn't matter what color. And then go to effects and go to creative and vignette. We're going to do an ellipse. And then you could change uh, everything. I mean, the offset. You know, if you can look like that. I actually think my first one looks better. You could fade it in or out. I think this one looks more like a bended piece of plastic or bent because this is kind of square looking. So I think this would be the way to go. So then to make it a like we had, Control G to group it, Control D to duplicate it, hold down the Control button, grab that right there and just move it down. Now you're going to have a little bit of a line there where the two meet. But all you have to do is set your nudge factor on something really low and take one of them and just nudge them up and that, that line is gone. And you can make it, then you can make it whatever size you wanted. So that would look pretty neat if you had um, a design of any kind. And let's rotate it 90 degrees to kind of make it go like that. And then if you had some blue plastic, and I'm just, I'm just thinking outside the box here. Let's make that a blue sheet and go up to object, order, back a page. Well, you're actually going to, let's, let's do this. This would be a good exercise. We're actually going to have to put it behind the black. So what we're going to have to do is go to object, group, and ungroup it. And then take this black thing, go to object, order, put it to the back of page back a page and that way that it looks like the blue box is being held in there so just do the same thing on this side just ungroup it because you're going to get the other layer you can actually select both these at one time holding down the shift key go to object order back a page and if this was i don't know a credit card and a wallet or something of that fact that looks pretty cool and then you can always change your color to whatever you wanted in there. Um, anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. And thank you for watching.